Hi guys, as part of today's lab, we will see the connections that we have to make for the LCD with the Arduino. So before I focus on the pin connections, let us look at the different ports that we have to use as part of your LCD. So let us make a quick revision of the LCD ports port number one or pin number one starting from here is ground, two is VDD, three is contrast which is typically ground, four is your register select, five is your read write again which is ground since we are always reading, I'm sorry since we are always writing, then Pin number 6 is your enable, pin number 7 is db0, pin number 8 is db1, pin number 9 is db2, pin number 10 is db3, pin number 11 is db4, pin number 12 is db5, pin number 13 is db6. Pin number 14 is DB7 and 15 and 16 are the backlights. Now for our program we will be using these pins since we are using the LCD in 4-bit mode. So we will skip these. Okay. Now that said, let us look at the connections. Before that I'd like to show you the program. Now this is the program. In this part of the program we'll specify the connections. Pin number 12 will be your register select. Pin number 11 will be your enable. Pin number 10 will be DB0, uh, DB4. Pin number 9 will be DB5, DB6 and then DB7. Okay, so let's look at these connections. As I said, we will start from pin number 12. So pin number 12 first, we will connect it to, can we revise again? So pin number 12, we will connect to our register select which is pin number 4 so it will be here. Pin number 11 will go to your enable which will be pin number 6 so here. Then let's change the color. Pin number 10 will be your DB4. Pin number 9 will be DB5 pin number 8 will be db6 and pin number 7 will be db7. So these are your first basic connections. Then come your power supply connections. So pin number 1 is ground. So what I would suggest is make a common terminal, make a common terminal which is ground on your breadboard and then you connect that terminal to ground you can use either that or you can use ground here also I would suggest using this ground terminal this one so let's make the common terminal and connect it here after that you take the contrast pin which is your pin number 3 you take the contrast pin and you connect it here you take your read write and you connect it here so it's at all at the common terminal so the reason for doing that is you have only one wire from the Arduino so it's more cleaner so after that you have one connection missing which is your power supply pin so from 5 volts that is here 
connected to your power supply pin which is here so these are the connections make sure you do these connections and now let's see the output of the connection and the program on the Arduino board 